Hello, my name is Tracy Allen and I want to welcome you to Cooking with Some Friends. Hello everyone and welcome to Cooking with Some Friends. Um, I just love it when we have fresh produce from the garden and uh, my husband loves to garden and I help some, but he's the main gardener. Um, so some of the things that we grow, we grow some peppers and tomatoes, um, different kinds of peppers. Um, we have corn that we get from an area farmer that they're always so generous. Um, the Kurtzes are always so generous to share um, in that bounty too. So, um, we're going to share with you today a recipe for some summer salsa. And like I said, these are just things that come out of our garden every summer. And so we want to share the recipe with you. So anyway, in my bowl, I've already chopped up, um, four tomatoes and I like to use our Roma tomatoes just because they're meatier. Um, but I went ahead and chopped those up. I also have about four cups of corn right off the cob that I'm going to put in there. And then I have a combination of peppers. Um, I have a yellow, I want to move this a minute. I have a hot yellow pepper that we're going to put in. I have some green pepper. Um, you can use any color. Of, it just makes it such a colorful salsa. Um, I have some sweet orange pepper. Um, you can use red pepper if you would rather. And then I have a couple of jalapenos that I've diced up. I'm going to put all of these in our salsa. Hotter peppers really do lend themselves well or um, with the sweetness of the other peppers and the corn and the tomatoes. I'm also going to put in a couple cloves of garlic. And then for um, our dressing that goes on this, it's something light. I have the juice of one whole lemon. And to that, I'm going to add a couple teaspoons of, and this isn't a measuring spoon, I'm just going to guesstimate, of olive oil. And then I have some spices or some herbs, actually. Um, you want to put in some fresh basil, some fresh sage, um, some fresh thyme. If you don't have those, you can buy them in a local produce section or you can use dried. Just be very careful when you use dried because the amounts aren't the same. Because normally with the fresh, we use about a tablespoon of each. Oh, I've got some of my fresh sage sitting there. And then I want to add in some salt and pepper. And this is just to taste. this on and let it marinate for about an hour in the refrigerator before you serve it and then it is ready to go but you really want to toss it well to get all those herbs mixed in just ready to marinate for about an hour in the refrigerator. Hello and welcome to Cooking with Some Friends. I am getting some things ready for two different meals of, with several of us here. You can hear our neighbors mowing in the background, so that's kind of loud, but I've taken about a pound and a half of hamburger and I've browned that and drained it. And this is for our Texas TNT dip. And um, we like things that are spicy, my husband and I do. And uh, this is one of those that has kind of that Tex-Mix um, combination. 
So to that, you're also going to put in a can of cream of mushroom soup. Heat down pretty low. I've got several other things going, two different kinds of potato salad and another salad. And so and I've been out to ball games all day and been working with flowers. So it's been a warm day. Okay, so I've got my cream of mushroom soup. Um, the next ingredient you're gonna add is totally up to you on um, two options. You can put in um, one cup of your favorite salsa, or you can take a can of um, hot Rotel and put that in. And then I have a quarter cup of butter, and below that, you can't see it until I move it, I chopped up um, about two of our home can pickled jalapenos. You can use fresh jalapenos if you want to. Um, I'm gonna stir that in. The only other thing that goes in our dip, I have a two pound package of Velveeta that I went ahead and cubed up and I'm gonna put that in. Now I need to stir this fairly often on a low heat until the cheese melts completely and then it's ready to go. And that is Texas TNT dip. Now that our Texas TNT dip is starting to melt down, I also wanna put in two tablespoons of chili powder out my other chili powder and you can go more or less whatever you prefer you can do hot chili powder you can do a more mild chili powder but then we just need our cheese to cook down and then it'll be ready to serve great with tortillas thanks for joining us for this session of cooking with some friends make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel and find us on Facebook at cooking with some friends